In this video, we're going to take a look at the operation of multiplication with decimals. When we multiply with decimals, it works just like whole numbers, where we'll multiply each digit by each digit. However, when we decide where to place the decimal, what we will do is we will count the decimal digits. in the problem. If there are six decimal digits in the problem, we want our answer to have six decimal digits as well. So, for example, if we have 9.12 times 3.4, we'll start multiplying them like whole numbers, 9.12 times 3.4, multiplying 4 by everything, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 9 is 36. Then we use a 0 for a placeholder and multiply 3 by everything. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 9 is 27. We then can add these together. 8 and 0 is 8, 4 and 6 is 10, carry the 1. 6, 1 and 3 is 10, carry the 1. 3, 7 and 1 is 11, carry the 1. 2 and 1 is 3. And then we have to decide where to place the decimal. The way we decide where to place the decimal is we will count the decimal digits in our problem. 1, 2, 3. After the decimals in the problem are three digits total, two from the first, one from the second. This means we need to have three decimal digits in our final answer, 1, 2, 3. Our final answer is 31.008, or 8 thousandths. Notice we can quickly check our answer by doing a little quick multiplication with just the whole number part. 9 times 3, the whole number parts in this problem, is 27. Our answer should be a little bigger than that because of the decimal giving us a little more stuff. 31.008 is a little bigger than that. If your decimal's in the wrong place, we'll either end up with a lot bigger or a lot smaller. So it's a good check. It is a little bigger than our estimate, so the answer's probably correct. Let's take a look at one more example before we wrap up here. Let's multiply 1.4 times 3.2. Again, we'll do the multiplication just like we always have with whole numbers, multiplying the 2 first. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2. And then with a 0 for a placeholder, we'll multiply by 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1, 3 times 1 is 3, and 1 more is 4. And then we know we need to add these together. 8 and 0 is 8, 2 and 2 is 4, and just a 4 at the end. And then to decide where we place the decimal, we need to count our decimal digits. 1 from the first problem, 1 from the second number. We have two decimal digits, which means we need two decimal digits in our answer. 4.48. Again, we can check if that's correct by just multiplying the whole number parts. 1 times 3 is 3. Our answer should be a little bigger than 3. 4.48 is a little bigger than 3, so I feel very confident about where we place that decimal. When multiplying with decimals, what we want to do is make sure we multiply like whole numbers, then place the decimal by counting how many decimal digits are in the original problem.